Hey everybody, Kathy here. It is really windy today. It's like 25 miles an hour wind. I can't keep my door opened. It's starting to cool down a little bit, but it was kind of warm in here and it didn't seem like my fan was doing much good. It's so windy out, it's not letting the air come in the other way. It's starting to stay open a little while. Oh, there it goes. Wow. I don't think anybody's out today. Is there? I was out earlier. I'm going to have to go get my Lucy lights in a minute. Yesterday, Tina and I went to um, the laundromat. We went shopping. We got propane and gas and our tanks dumped and water filled. So we're, we're set for another, you know, well, I'm set for about 10 days at least. I could probably go 10 days like that. Okay, I got my generator oil changed and my engine oil changed thanks to a guy down over here. And I did a video when he changed the oil on the generator, but I forgot to do it um, for the oil change. And I'm so glad that I got that done because the oil was black. It was black. The generator and the engine oil. I think the engine oil was a little blacker. And so, I don't know. I'm glad I got it done, though. Um, that night, after Dave had changed my generator oil, I turned the generator on, and it turned on real easy. But nothing went on in here. And I realized that we must have flipped that cutoff switch, so I turned the generator back off, and I went outside and um, flipped the switch back on. And I came back in here, and the generator went click, click, and it wouldn't start. And I said, oh, maybe I flooded it. So I waited for about an hour. Click, click. I'm like, oh, no, what did I do to the generator? So so I walked down the road in the morning, and he came back with me. And I had looked up online that it was probably a dirty solenoid. Because it could also be um, low voltage in the batteries, but it wasn't that. I turned on the engine to make sure I had gas. And I had, like, a quarter tank of gas. I mean, uh, I had over... I had only used a quarter tank of gas, I should say. So it wasn't that. So it was either that dirty solenoid or perhaps um, there was a, like a grounding cable I think could have been dirty. So he cleaned off the solenoid and that's what it was. It started right up. Everything's powered so everything's good. The engine oil was so dirty it looked like dead man's blood, man. I'm not kidding you. Thank God I got that done. Okay, so here's the little clip about my generator getting changed, and you'll get to meet Dave. He's a really good guy, great guy. And his the little dog, Comet. Hey, everybody. Kathy here, and I have found a friend to help me with my generator. His name is Dave, but he prefers to remain off camera. So that's cool. Oh, he's going to help me. He's going to change the oil in my generator. If you can find the right tool. There's your bobby hat for doing it. That's it. And he's going to show me how to do it. Oh, no face. <laughs> That's why I got glasses on and a hat. Oh, okay. Okay. So to do that, you need a... You need a T30 Torx bit to take out the cap. Okay. You got that? That's to take the cap off to get to the drain plug. Then we need to find a socket to make to work on the Ouch. Can you see okay? Do you need a flashlight? Oh yeah, I can see fine. Hand no work. Do you need help? Dave has a little problem with his hands, so I know this is hard for him, but neuropathy. he's... Neuropathy. okay. Like that. Uh, he said, that's okay, he can do it anyhow, so I'm like, okay, thank you so much. Yeah, right the moment. And there's Comet, just chilling in the sun. Hey, he's pretty famous already. Yeah. He's a good puppy. 
So now you're taking the drain plug out? I'm taking the, the cap off to get to the main drain plug. It's gold. Here we go. If you want to show me hand me your camera, I'll show you. Taking a cap off right here. That gold cap. That way you can see what I was doing. Okay, thank you. For future reference. Yep. Yeah, because they say to change it every 200 hours. And I'm like at 230 hours. So. Yeah, these two little screws that got the Torx bit on them. Okay. We'll lay that right there so we don't lose it. I don't know if we can just slide this around. Yeah, we can just slide that around. I need a 5 eighths socket. That's too big. That's too big? That's yeah, 3 quarters. Is it? Yeah, we need 5 eighths. Okay. Oh, hey, he's going to try the next size. 9 16 It's a 9 16 9 16 That's the one? Okay. Ooh, that sun gets warm. It's been cold here at night, boy, though. It's been windy. I hope the wind isn't interfering with this video. Okay, so we got the oil on it. It's really, really dirty. I know I pushed that to... It was over 200 hours. Not too much, just like 35 more hours. And tomorrow he's going to uh, do my oil change for me. Yeah, I'm sure somebody around here has got an oil drain pan. But unless you want to have one for you. Best ones to buy is the one that has the uh, catch on it. It's like a big pan. It's got a hole in the middle of it where you can put the cap back in it. Okay. So you take it and dispose of it. Okay. Where do you take the oil at when you need to throw it away? AutoZone. Oh, okay. O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Napa. This here I'll keep until I fill it up. It's a messy job. Yeah. That's why mechanics make so much money. And overcharge everybody. I'm always worried about a dishonest one, you know. Yep, they're well, all dishonest. You know, tell you that you need something you don't. Yep. I had a problem with my transfer switch. And um, a friend of my sister's was able to look at it. And he knew what it was. He opened it up. And it was like two wires that were loose. Yeah. And that's all it was. And I thought, man, if I would have took that to a mechanic you know they might have told me i need a whole new one yeah we had such a good reputation we i opened my old repair shop in uh 2010 in kansas and uh we had uh almost a 500 client get client cases in less than a month wow because everybody wanted when you open shop when you open shop I'd show, the, I'd show the customer what was wrong, how to repair it themselves, and exactly what I paid for the part, and I charge $45 an hour later is all I did. See, it's hard to find honest people like that, you know, and when you do, you want to you wanna give them your business for sure. We got very little oil on the ground, so that's a good thing. Now what do we do about oil on the ground? I mean, it's very little, so. Okay. It's all right. Do you have your book on your generator? Yeah. If you want to get your book, is it easy to access? Um, sort of. Yeah, I can just go in there and look for it. <laughs> so I want to make sure I can put the right amount of oil on it, so. Okay. Okay, let me go. That number right there, air filter. Oh, that's the air filter. How, yeah. long, how often does that got to be replaced? Uh, that'll be in the book. Okay. 
In other words, read your book. Sounds like my daughter. She'd say, Mom, don't you have a Google button on your computer? When I'd call her and ask her something. It's like, it's, it's look for it. So we didn't have enough oil. We didn't buy enough oil, but luckily um, I had bought a bottle of this. So he was able to finish filling it up. 600 milliliters, right? 1.6. 1.6. Yeah. This is the first one that's taken over a court, and I've done five of them out here so far, so. But we'll check it to make sure. Yeah, better say than sorry. Yeah. Well, it won't run if it don't have enough oil on it. Mmm. See where it's right there below the mark? Yeah. Just add a little bit more. Yeah, that's the nice thing about these. They won't run if they ain't got enough oil or no, or if you got less than a quarter tank of gas, it won't run. Yeah. I'm afraid to see how much gas I've used. More than I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just sitting here. Okay. No, I mean, I mean, I, that's how I keep warm. I start my car up and warm to try to keep that other rest going. And always when you wipe your dipstick off, always use a clean rag so you don't put dirt back in your motor. Okay. Did you hear that, Kathy? And it is full. All right. Full and clean. It was so dirty. Wow. It's easier to see when it's dirty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's for sure. It was really dirty, you guys. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh oh, it just started. Now I don't want was going to act up. See, I should have videotaped it the other time. Yeah, we're going to let it sit for a few minutes. Yeah, that's all right. It starts, you guys. It just started. I just don't want to keep on starting and starting, I guess. Yeah. So, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Full oil. Is that all we have to do? Yeah, that's it. We'll just, just take this bolt off right here. When you get your air filter. Just take this off. Now it'll pull right out. Okay. And you put the new filter in. Okay. Real easy. If you're not here. But yeah, you have to order that online from Owen. Okay. That's right. Get it from it was mine anyway. Alrighty. So I got to get a mailbox so I can get stuff.